Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Fedora 42 Cosmic. This is a new spin <clears throat> that they're adding to their uh, arsenal. Uh, if you don't know, Cosmic is a uh, GNOME-like uh, desktop environment that is provided by System76, which is the makers of Pop! OS. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on into this. This will be my first walkthrough with this, really. Um, I'm sure it can get more complicated than what this video is going to cover. I read on the website that this is actually kind of modular, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what else this thing can actually do. Currently, I'm rather impressed with it. It seems like it's a lightweight version of GNOME, so let's get started. So up here you can list your workspaces. Uh, you can also configure this to run vertically if you want. Open our control panel, go to vertical, and there, now it's, now it's vertical. You can switch between workstations. <clears throat> I'm sorry, workspaces. Um, also I found that this, this control panel here is kind of centralized to everything. So you have network, Bluetooth, accessibility. Um, you have different kinds of networks in here. Uh, Bluetooth, which I turn off. I don't have a Bluetooth device I'm wanting to connect and I don't want any devices connecting to me. Uh, accessibility, currently it looks like the only thing in here is a magnifier. Uh, hopefully that'll expand in the future. Uh, desktop, uh, this is going uh, to be wallpaper, um, appearance, panel, dock, window management, workspaces. Um, if I hadn't said anything, this is a, a new spin that Fedora is going to do for Fedora 42. This is currently the beta version. Uh, beta has not actually been uh, announced at the time of this recording. Uh, by the time you see it, it would have been announced already, but just barely. Uh, you can go in here, you can choose your different wallpapers, uh, slideshow, you can add an image. Um, these are just the click and it changes kind of thing. Set wallpaper on all displays. Um, let's see your appearance. You can go in here, change your theme. Uh, you can change this here. These accent colors affect the uh, color that's highlighted here and also the buttons and the border that goes around. You can also switch automatically switch between light and dark. Um, let's see here, you can choose your style, uh, rounded, slightly rounded, or square. And then you can also choose your uh, density here. Uh, this is probably, probably more in line with like CSS style sheets, uh, that kind of thing. <clears throat> And there's a few other things you can change, like the icons, uh, toolkits for theming, that kind of thing. Uh, you can also change, looks like you can change your icons there. Uh, displays, looks like you can uh, do some simple editing here, orientation, um, scaling, that kind of thing. Uh, here's your uh, X11, whether you want to scale or render all applications in native. Um, let's see here, you got your sound, power and battery, always turn this off that's just me i am impressed that it does show me the, uh, my uh, wireless mouse here that tells me what my battery is currently set at uh, which is awesome uh, you also have your power modes here and you can turn the screen off like i like i did there uh, other input devices uh, keyboard alter, alternate characters a composite key caps lock key um, you can change several different things in here. Time and language, uh, that's correct. So I can go in here and time date and I can change the time zone here. It defaulted to UTC, but I just changed it to the central time zone in the United States, uh, which is where I'm currently located. You can add your users in here, um, get uh, an about from this panel here. And having gone over that, anything else you click on up here is just gonna open that same panel again. So there's your input, there's your window manager settings, go straight to the desktop. So it, it, even these icons open up that same panel. Uh, this does come with its own terminal called Cosmic Terminal. It comes with its own text editor, Cosmic Text Editor. Go ahead and close that. And I have noticed that uh, there's no global menu up here, uh, but what you can do though is uh, down here, underneath the icon one you see a faint circle around it but also there's this little dot that's underneath it that lets you know that it is uh 
open. If you click on it, it minimizes it down here to the right, kind of like a Mac does. And if you click on that, it opens it back up. Um, however, there is no right click on that. There is a right click context menu on the desktop, however. And you can change the desktop wallpaper, appearances, display settings, and that kind of thing there. So this just brings up uh, your, your panel here where you can create different groups if you want. It does come with LibreOffice, um, Fedora Media Writer, which is pretty cool. And this is the GNOME System Monitor. Uh, it also comes with GNOME Disks and probably, that's probably GNOME Calculator. Yeah. Yep. So we'll go ahead and close that out. Workspaces are there. And also what cool thing is if you hit Windows key, it opens up your, uh, I don't know what GNOME calls this. Uh, this does seem GDK, so it's probably what GNOME uses. Uh, in the KDE world, it's called KRunner, and we can look for uh, Firefox. Yeah, it works just like KRunner does. And then you can go ahead and choose what you're looking for and go from there. But that button is also there too, but if you remember your super key, you probably can get rid of this icon down here. But anyway, that's about it. That's a, a very simple walkthrough. Like I said, I'm just going through the default configuration. I haven't changed anything prior to starting uh, this video. This is how it comes out of the box. Uh, if there are uh, expansions, extensions, or any other kind of modules uh, that uh, can be used with Cosmic, they're not installed currently. Um, and you can go through and, and check that out. I will leave the home page uh, to System76's Cosmic Desktop Environment in the uh, description below. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, have you tried this before? This is actually something I think, I think if I understand correctly, this is going to be the default desktop in Pop! OS. Um, I could be wrong. If you know, uh, let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments section. Uh, make sure you uh, click like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell, and uh, we will see you in the next one.